your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. In news from the crime beat, two men hauled before the court on Friday in connection with that vicious attack on an elderly woman by three aggressive pit bulls. Zion Douglas and Jawise Watkins, both of Sunset Subdivision, appear before Magistrate Charlton Smith on the following charges. Permitting a ferocious dog at large, causing harm by negligence, and having an unlicensed dog. Zion Douglas pled guilty to all charges and was fined $2,680, $500 to go to the victim. Jow Wise Watkins pled not guilty and was granted bail in the amount of $2,000 with one shorter. The case was adjourned to January 25th of next year. The pit bulls were handed over to animal control. Now reports say the victim in the case, an elderly woman, sustained serious injuries and had to undergo extensive surgery. The aggressive dogs were euthanized with the help of the Grand Bahama Humane Society. Now, that vicious pit bull attack on the elderly woman is once again raising concerns about aggressive dogs roaming the streets and the responsibility of dog owners in keeping the public safe. Here is press liaison officer, Assistant Superintendent of Police, Stephen Roll, on the matter. It's an offense to have a ferocious dog to be a large. The owners of these dogs are to ensure that the animals are controlled and licensed. The Animal Protection and Control Act 2010, Section 6, Subsection 2, states that dog owners must license any dog above the age of three months. Failure to do so is an offense. Section 136 of the Penal Code, Chapter 84, clearly states that whoever suffers to be at large, any unmuzzled ferocious dog or sets or urges any animal to attack, worry, or put in fear any poison or animal shall be liable to a fine of $100 or a prison term of 20 days. Further, a magistrate can also order that the dog owner pay compensation to the victim for any attack or injuries. So I want again to urge dog owners, please control your dogs before they become a nuisance to the general public. That's a check on stories making news. Our Jay Philippe has your check on Monday Evening Sports. Good evening, I'm Jay Philippe and welcome to Sports. It was a jam-packed weekend for a number of athletes from Grand Bahama. Let's take a look. From the NBA, Buddy Heal and his Sacramento Kings lost to the Indiana Pacers 91-94 in a low-scoring affair, but it was this shot that went viral across the association with Buddy Heal connecting on a half-court shot on a spin move to end the first quarter off a turnover from the Pacers. Heal finished the game with 17 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 steals. Switching gears now in pro basketball overseas, standout national team player Travis Munnings is currently in Lesbon, Portugal, playing for SL Benfica in their last game. His team defeated then Bosch 78-76 and a close one up next on the schedule is the showdown versus Academy de Combre. Now on the college scene, senior combo guard Eldon Martin Burrow and his Evangel University squad got the win in blowout fashion against Harris Stowe College to improve to 2-1 on the season. Martin Burrow scored 7 points and grabbed 2 rebounds in 26 minutes of action. Also a pair of teammates in Bradley Lightburn and Joshua Dames had an impressive debut to the season in an 87-65 win for Kansas Community College over Southwestern Community College. Lightburn scored 15 points, 4 rebounds and 3 steals while guard Joshua Dames chipped in with 10 points, 9 rebounds and 2 steals. Now from the basketball court to the softball diamond, young Labria Sands continuing to turn heads on the softball field abroad. Her CF Stars 12 and under team picked up 2 wins in Alabama 
Alabama on the weekend against Kentucky Chrome and Southern Force Hewitt. Sand struck out seven batters in a 3-2 victory over Southern Force in four innings pitch allowing just one hit and two runs in the contest. On the offensive end, she also drove in one run on this base hit into center field. Now Sands is a promising player considered to be one of the best in the country in her age group. And that's a quick check on sports. I'm Jay Philippe. Be blessed.